Easiest trivia game ever. Easy trivia. The category is Bobby Bone Show Hobbies. Nobody goes home first round. Lunchbox, who on the show has a new hobby of breeding butterflies? Oh, Eddie. Yeah. No, okay, Eddie. Yeah. This doesn't come in yet. I'm hey, a little worried about the order. Eddie, who has a hobby of playing Wordle? Oh, Lunchbox. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan, who on the show is an aspiring singer? Abby. Correct. <laughs> and Amy, who on the show has a new hobby of bidding on mystery boxes of sports memorabilia? You. Correct. So, <laughs> nobody went home, but if you would have missed it, you'd have heard this sound right here. You've been booed. Lunchbox is the returning champion. He won last season. You're playing to five. Eddie, Lunchbox, Amy, I'll have three wins. Morgan has wow. two. Wow. Lunchbox, you go first, champ. You ready? Okay. The category is famous cities. Mm-hmm. Which country do the cities of Toronto, Quebec, and Vancouver belong to? Canada. Correct. Eddie, what country do the cities of Sydney, Perth, and Brisbane belong to? Australia. Correct. Morgan, what countries do the city of Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka belong to? Japan. Correct. <laughs> what country do the cities of Tijuana, Cancun, and Acapulco belong yeah, to? Yeah. Yeah. Mexico. Good. Yeah, yeah. You guys were doing that throwing me off. I was just going to try to hit know, the natural I accent. I couldn't do it. Everybody's still in. Easy trivia. Company logos, Lunchbox. Mm -hmm. What e-commerce company logo is a smile that they put on their shipping boxes? Amazon. Correct. I never knew it was a smile until you just told me that. Really? Yeah, I was a little arrow thing. Yeah, I always yeah. thought it just looked weird. Huh. Eddie, what broadcasting company has a peacock logo? NBC. Correct. Morgan, what athletic brand has a three-stripe logo? Adidas. Correct. Amy, what broadcast, podcast, and radio streaming platform has a red heart logo? Okay. I feel like, is this a trick question? Okay. iHeartRadio. Correct. You better okay. get that right. Know, easy but... trivia. Oh she almost got fired. You yeah. almost lost your job. No, it seemed too All easy. All of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> we never addressed that she's gone. Didn't even know like, her. Like, we didn't even play the bone yeah, club. We just, just said, yeah. you fired. Uh, she, yeah. just never, no, she's just gone. We just keep going, never go back to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Famous, <laughs> famous presidents. Uh -huh. Lunchbox, what president is on the $5 bill? You're the money man. Aren't you money man? Yeah, but I don't look at fives. I mean, come on. Oh, oh shut okay, up. Okay. <laughs> what presents on the $5 bill? Stop. Five seconds. Um, I'll go with Lincoln. I'm Correct. Monday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Eddie, which president was shot at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C.? Abraham Lincoln. Correct. Morgan, what president gave the Gettysburg Address? Mm. Gettysburg Address. I feel like I should know that. I feel like you should too. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Thomas Jefferson. Incorrect. Mm. Dang it. You've been booed. Amy, which president was a wrestling champion and was born in a log cabin in Kentucky? What do we say? Well, I will. Okay, uh, Lincoln. Correct. All answers were, were all, Abraham Lincoln. I almost oh. said it, and then I was like, no, it can't be a third in a row. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Morgan, you've been boned. You're out of here. Yeah. Yeah, the Gettysburg Address, was pretty, I felt like it's a pretty easy one anyway. But Four score. It is. It just really threw yeah. me out that both of those were Lincoln. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, geometric shapes, three oh. people remain. Mm. Oh, clear your throat, yeah. bro. Is that what you were doing? That was wet. No, that was me frustrated. And it was like wet frustration. <laughs> out there. That was drier. Lunchbox. What geometric shape is generally used for stop signs? He's drawing it with his hand right now. Two, three, four, five. God bless America. One, two, three. Hexagon. Incorrect. You've been booed. Stop signs have how many sides? Eight. Octagon. Eight. Octagon. We would have got there, Amy, but thank you for checking. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I was yes. holding my breath. Eight octagon. Yeah, draw it out. Yeah, put yeah. It Two, out three, four, five, six. Until you get eight, don't stop. I'm going to have to look at Eddie, it. Eddie. Yo. What's the geometric shape of a can of Pringles called? Oh, the can of Pringles is a cylinder. Correct. Wow. That's a tough oh, one. man. That's a tough one. I missed. What's the geometric shape? We're off octagon, dude. I know, but yeah, I see. Yeah. I looked at it now. I I, there's you. one in the middle. What's the geometric shape of a globe called? 
a globe. The geometric shape of a globe is a, um, a sphere. Correct. Good job. <laughs> Not super easy, but still kind of easy. Easy trivia. Two people remain. Amy and Eddie. Acronyms is your category. Eddie, what does the acronym FBI stand for in the United States? Federal, Federal Bureau Investigation. Correct. I'd have gone female body inspector. That would have worked too, right? <laughs> yeah, why not? What does IRS stand for, Amy? Internal Revenue Service. Correct. Eddie, what does NBA stand for? National Basketball Association. Amy, what CEO? Uh, Chief Executive Officer. Good. Easy trivia. Two people remain. Famous dates. Eddie, what famous attack happened on U.S. soil December 7th, 1941? Oh, it's the day of infamy. It's um, Pearl Harbor. Correct. Amy, what president was assassinated November 22nd, 1963? Uh, 63, uh, JFK. Correct. Good job. Famous writers. Eddie, what poet wrote The Raven and the Telltale Heart? Mm, Edgar Allan Poe. Correct. Amy, who wrote Horton Hears the Who and How the Grinch Stole Christmas? How the Grinch Stole Cr Christmas and Horton Hears the Who. I'm hoping that it's um, Dr. Seuss, but yeah. Answer? Yes. Correct. Eddie, who wrote A Christmas Carol and Oliver Twist? Charles Dickens. Wow. Good job. I thought I yeah. thought you got unlucky with that one. That was good. I thought you got crazy. unlucky with that one. This is crazy. Amy, who wrote Harry Potter and also Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Harry Potter. Um, J.K. Rowling. Correct. Oh my gosh. Whoa, one more category with a sudden death. Okay. The category is science. Eddie, what gas do plants absorb from the air and use during photosynthesis? Mm. Gosh, it's either oxygen. What or gas do hydrogen. plants absorb from the air and use during photosynthesis? They take the oxygen from the air, or do they? No, they take the hydrogen from the air, turn it into oxygen. Give me hydrogen. No, you 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 had the right thought, just the wrong gas. It's not oxygen; it's carbon dioxide. Oh, okay. I would so, never. But not that. hydrogen. Okay, okay, <laughs> not okay, hydrogen. okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Amy, if you get this, you win. Okay. If not, we go to sudden death. What's the scientific name for the voice box? The voice box. In the throat? That's the voice box. No, in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> the scientific name for the voice box? Mm -hmm. The, does it start with a V? The, the trach. No. Tricky yet. The larynx. Yeah, the larynx. Oh. oh. I say vulva. Oh, is... No, Eddie. That's no, not... That not it. No, no, that's no, not it. No. That's not it. No. You're okay. thinking of the uvula. That's what I what was thinking of. What is it, larynx? Yeah. You're thinking of the little floppy thing that things down. Yeah, that's yeah. not it. The other thing, not that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you two, we have three questions. Come on! Speed round. <gasps> Buzz in your name. The category is fictional animals. Okay. okay. Ready? Yep. In Greek mythology, what creature is a hybrid of a lion and an eagle? Oh. What? Eddie. Eddie. Legal. No. <laughs> a hybrid. Amy. Uh, Incorrect. It's uh, a griffin. Uh, Never heard of that. What? Question number two. Buzz in with your name. Which is Earth's only natural satellite? Eddie. Eddie. Ah! Russ Pick. Incorrect. What's Earth's only... What? What did you even say? Russ Pick. What's, <laughs> what's Earth's only natural satellite? Oh, my God. I feel like I know this. The moon. Correct. No! Oh! Are you no. thinking of like the Russian spaceship? Yeah, what is that called? Sputnik? Sputnik? Sputnik, that's it. <laughs> this guy's way off. Eddie, you got to get this one <sighs> to tie to go to one question, sudden, sudden death. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Amy, if you get this or he misses it, you win. What creature is said to transform from human to wolf during a full moon? Amy! Amy. A werewolf! Winner.